post-punk railroad to contemporary Christian music. You give yourself to Jesus, get saved, and get after what the book calls you to do. <laughs> Very well put. What happened to the group? Uh, Grand Funk broke up in 82 after the death of our manager. Uh, we had been regrouped for two years, and everybody just kind of split up. The bass player uh, that was with the group, is, he's into collecting Jaguars. That's what he does for a hobby and a living. And uh, the drummer, Don Brewer, and the keyboard player, Craig Frost, go out with Bob Seeger when Bob hits the road. Now, you had so much success. Did all of you, when you split, were you all independently wealthy? I think you could probably say that. So a lot of safely. records. Well, so a lot of records. But I have, according to my information, you had 17 LPs. You sold over 25 million records. Yes, 17 gold. 17 gold, 11 platinum. How have you done in the world of contemporary Christian music? I feel that uh, I've done great for the time that the record's been out. It's been out uh, since the first to last June. And uh, it's been a real proving ground for me because it's like, uh, you know, you have to prove yourself to uh, the people that are in the business that you're really genuine about what you're doing and not just, you know, a lot of people were probably a little antsy about me coming into the business because they figured I couldn't make it in contemporary rock anymore and I wanted to still play so I come and wear this one out. Well, that ain't it, you know. So you had, you had to establish your credibility. That's right. It's nice to have you on the show. Thank you, Ralph. Good for to be one time. Now, a contemporary gospel singer, would you please welcome again, Mark Farner. It feels so good to have your face shining 